making a really delicious treat today. When I think of this, I think of Christmas, but it's also great for any holiday gathering, family gathering, whatever, Super Bowl, Sunday. It's Keto Puppy Chow, also known as Muddy Buddy. So it's tr usually made with peanut butter. We try not to use a lot of nuts and peanuts are actually a legume. So I am using sun butter. And this, I've already measured out my sun butter and it's 131 grams of peanut butter, sun butter. It's about a half a cup. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is my sun butter already measured out. I'm also using two ounces of 100% dark chocolate. My favorite to use is Ghirardelli. I love Ghirardelli. I could not find Ghirardelli, so my second choice would be Lint. You could also use Baker's Kitchen. Any 100% cocoa bar, baking bar would be fine. So I'm gonna add that. So break them up if you can. They'll melt better. Well, I have more of this. Uh, it's a hun uh, one and a half ounces of cocoa butter plus two tablespoons of butter or coconut oil. I'm choosing to use a little more cocoa butter instead of adding coconut oil. So all of that goes in this bowl. And this is going to melt over a double, double boiler. I do not have a double boiler, but I do have this stainless steel bowl, so any heat resistant bowl would do over a small pan of water. So I just put it on that and wait for it to melt. But while we're waiting for it to melt, you also need three and a half ounces of pork rinds. And the pork rinds, this is already measured out to three and a half ounces, but I usually use um, Max, or this comes from Sam's Club, and I get my Max at Walmart. And all you do is you break it up into bite-sized pieces. And it, it doesn't matter the size, it's whatever size you want, whatever size you feel is bite-sized. So that's the pork rinds. I've already done all of that for you, so we don't have to sit here and wait. But we'll just go watch chocolate melt. And it sometimes takes a while and it's gonna depend on the size that your chocolate is, but mix all of this up, get it, see the chocolate is starting to melt. It's actually the cocoa butter takes the longest to melt, so. Now to this, we add a quarter of a teaspoon of stevia glyceride. I am using English toffee. I'm not sure how much I have left. So I have some regular stevia glyceride if I run out. So this is English toffee, better stevia. We get this from Wellevate. We also use um, the better stevia unflavored for a lot of recipes. Again, we get that on Wellevate. And then you're going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We stir that all up. Here you'll see it's all melted, sweeteners all in there. Yum. I'm just going to pour the pork rinds in this bowl. And we stir it up to make sure it's all coated. Every piece has chocolate. Again, if you like things sweeter, add a little more sweetener. If you absolutely hate stevia, although the better stevia uh, glycerite does, is not bitter at all. I know some people are allergic to stevia, so you could use, uh, I'd probably use powdered sweetener. I don't know how much since I don't use it. So there you have it, it's all coated. So now what we do is we put this on a, in a baking sheet 
and I have a baking sheet that I have lined with parchment paper. And you just pour this out on the baking sheet. This really tastes so good. I normally make a double batch of this. Now this will go on the refrigerator. You can let this cool and stay at room temperature and let it cool down. Or you can put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or so until it is, um, you can pick up each piece. And normally with puppy chow or muddy buddies, it's covered in powdered sweetener. I don't, I don't like a lot of sweet things. Even when I was eating regular um, puppy chow before I was keto, I didn't like things covered in powdered sugar. But if you want to, once it's pretty much cooled, it, would, it wouldn't be a good idea while it was hot. But when it's cooled, you could get some powdered sweetener and cover them. But I had to taste that. I'll taste one now, but I'll wait until after they're refrigerated to taste them again. Mm -mm. It tastes good. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'll see you back in a half hour. So it's been a half an hour and the Muddy Buddies are in the refrigerator. I'll take it out now. I'll taste it again. Mm. It's such a good chocolatey treat, crispy. As I mentioned before, great for any holiday gatherings, cookouts, barbecues. They're really good. Again, if you want to coat it with powdered sweetener, you can. I just don't like anything that sweet. So how I'm going to store it, I'm going to put it back in the Ziploc bag that I originally had and I'll just store it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to eat it. Um, it tastes amazing. Again, made with sun butter instead of peanut butter. You can use almond butter. You can any, use any kind of butter you want. So tastes so good. Enjoy.